Hi all, and welcome to Night Rips. So if you've watched my videos, you know, not only do I like opening some new products, I do open old products, especially old, we'll say kind of strange products. Uh, and today's video is gonna be no different. So I got this new uh, box, uh, got it off of eBay. Um, yeah, might as well go ahead and show you. So I actually got a box of retail pinnacle jumbos. And this is Series 1. Uh, you probably know Pinnacle by its original name. It was initially called Score. What really drove me to get this 1996 Pinnacle was uh, this was actually the set that had the Bob Hamlin foil ugly card. Now, I don't know if it's actually in this box. I, you know, as I was looking, I'm like, okay, there's some cool box. There's some cool stuff in here. Uh, there is some technology that they used this year. And they used it a lot. We're going to see if we can find it. Uh, it was known as defects. It was, uh, they put it in a lot, some of their inserts. And so insert wise, let's see, we got the odds here. There was 100 cards of Starburst. That's one in every six packs. 100 cards of Artist Proof. A one in 39 packs, a Pinnacle Power, there's 20 cards of that, 129, one in 29 packs. Team Tomorrow, there's a 10, that's a 10 card chase, one in 19. And then the Cal Ripken Jr. Tribute, one card, and it's one in every 125 packs. So we've got 36 packs in this, and the 36 packs jumbo were 12 cards. I did find the non -jum jumbo, and they were only, uh, 10 cards and it looked like they were also 20 uh 24 pack boxes so you get i found this off of ebay just to see what what this is like uh, pinnacle did not last much longer than this they actually went defunct in 1998 so this is actually one of the last two years that pinnacle is in existence so let's go ahead as usual we're going to go pull six packs because i don't want to take too long with this and uh, see what we can find. I'm real curious personally because I've never, I've never, I've opened score. I've never opened pinnacle and I have, you know, obviously before I ever go in and pull any of, you know, these cards and whatnot, I do go and do a little bit of research just to see what's there. And it looks pretty interesting. Now, what was crazy is actually how expensive these cards were. Once I get my six packs, I will show you. Well, my six, there we go. We'll put the rest away for another opening later. But these six packs, if you looked, actually the price, these were $3 a pack. So these were not cheap. Uh, they was, if you think about it, these six packs, you know, there's 12 cards in each. Uh, you're talking current blaster box levels. I mean, this is this isn't cheap stuff. So I'm curious. Of course, uh, as we as we showed earlier, this pack's a little hard to. Don't want to mess it up too much, but here's the the odds of the chase cards. Kind of hard to read. I'm trying to get a where the light will shine a little bit. And of course, these were made in the United States. That's good. And as always, be strong. Don't use drugs. All right, let's go ahead and rip open this and see what's in it. There is some neat technology with this. Uh, Makes me wonder why. Oh, I guess I might have slipped that whenever I was opening it. Because it's not like it was resealed, because it did have the pinnacle, uh, you know, wrapper on it. All right. Well, we saw Cal Ripken on the back, but oh, this is going to be fun. So. Uh, these cards are kind of stuck together. I 
hopefully they don't mess each other up. I'm going to try to go ahead and peel them apart. Fingers crossed. You know, because as you know, it's like Stadium Club, because of sometimes of them being stuck together, it does leave a little bit of the image, messes it up a little bit. Hopefully this one doesn't do that. So I got them all unstuck. So this is Jay Blouser, and you can see the the foil looking uh, logo here. Of course, you know you got the pinnacle logo, and it's a nice action shot. But let me go show you the back of this card, and that's what I thought was really cool. So here's the back, and of course, you know it's it's a pretty standard looking. I mean, it definitely has the full color image on the back. But one thing they wanted to do, you know, remember when we start opening upper deck, they always had that little hologram so that you couldn't counterfeit. This actually has this little image down here. And if you actually look through a special type of glasses, it would say pinnacle. So it was their way of anti-counterfeiting. So interesting, you know, I guess it just, it, it's actually humorous today, if you think about it, because, you know, because of all of the, uh, how, how many packs were, were created, that these cards are really still not worth that much. This is still kind of junk wax, but it's a, it's nice. And it's right after the, the strike, because, you know, the strike happened there in 1994. So let's look a little bit, and you also see in the foil here and I, don't, I, yeah, I think you can kind of see it it is a baseball player uh, swinging his bat so pretty card let's see what else we got okay tom gordon robbie thompson just trying to make sure we didn't doesn't look like because they were stuck it doesn't look like that we had a problem oh there's tino martinez as he's still with the Mariners at this point. Of course, obviously, we've pulled his his uh, star rookie back in 1990. So this is before he moved over to the Yankees. We got Paul Sorrento. And, uh, no, I thought that was a mess up. But actually, it's just the, just the foot of the ball player. It's still a pretty card. Let's try to keep it centered and back far enough so you can see it. There's John Whitland. Oh, here we go. The Natch, the Nationals, Naturals, sorry. And the Naturals, as from our saying, that was one of the. It's not a chase set, but it was. It's very specific to the retail packs. So this was an insert. And we'll go ahead and let's look at the back of that because I'm I'm real curious. So Manny Ramirez. Okay. So it just talks about him being a an All Star player. Okay, that's cool. It's a neat looking card. And I'm, I'll break them apart. Oh, actually, this is kind of cool. So this, as I was doing a little research, one thing I'm going to show you. So we have John Wetland, and then we have Jose Herrera here to the right. If you notice that uh, Wetland's uh, font is black, but Herrera's is red, this was actually classified as a rookie card. So let's go look on the back. It should, yeah, there's your, talking about being a rookie right there. So that's kind of cool. So there's a, a rookie card. We got an AL checklist. Of course, we got the Iron Horse himself on that. Take a look at what the checklist looks like. And I don't think, this is actually not that big of a set. I think this was like a couple hundred cards. Or th there was a Series 1 that was a couple hundred, and then there's a Series 2, a couple hundred. So 400 cards in total. We only have Series 1, so we're only going to get to the first 200 if we're lucky. There's Ozzy Smith, right? Yep, Wizard himself. Definitely tell he's a little bit older by that point. We have another rookie, Brian Barber. And then finally, we have a Naturals, 
Cal Ripken Jr. So it's not the Cal Ripken we're looking for, the, the tribute card, but it's definitely a cool one. And of course, uh, yep, this was celebrating when he basically knocked out Lou Gehrig's winning streak and then became the winning, the not winning streak, the playing streak. And basically from that point on, it was him extending his own streak. Streak that, in my opinion, probably would never ever be touched. So that's really neat. So let's go ahead and keep it up on them up. We're gonna, unless we run into some of the the strange cards, uh, we'll, we'll go a little bit faster. These packs are definitely a little harder to open. I always try to keep a pack. Uh, you know, wrap her hand uh, with me just so I can uh, always look back. So I always keep a box and a wrapper. So, yeah, of course, we still got the everything sticking together. Let's go ahead and pull those apart real quick. I would say I'd edit this and try to speed all this up, but yeah, I probably won't. I'll probably put this up raw. I try to do these in one take unless I mess my camera up or I have to step away for one reason or another. So, sorry about that. But right off the bat, we get Daryl Strawberry. And that's when he had gone to the Yankees. Phil Plantier, Jeff Kent, felt a little thick there. Carl Everett. And I'll tell you what we're really looking for. Is that Dave Winfield? Wow. Yep. After he had left the he had left the Yankees and left the Angels, gone to the Indians. So but what we're really looking for is there's a 19. Now I don't I gotta go look to see what number it is. But the uh oh wow. That's Sierra. He had actually gotten traded. I think he got traded for Molotar, Molotov at that point. So he wasn't a Yankee for much longer. Um, Edgar Martinez. There's a good card. But yeah, we're, we're looking for the Bob Hamlin card, honestly. Um, the reason why we're looking for that one is that if we can get the Bob Hamlin in Pinnacle 96... It's classified as the ugliest baseball card in existence. There's another rookie, Chris Snowpeck. Don't recognize that name. Um, it's an interesting look. Higginson. And then Ruben Riviera, rookie. Okay, that's kind of cool. I apologize again. It's, sometimes these older packs are a little harder to get through. You know, for one, they're harder to open. They were so worried at the time that, you know, somebody was going to steal baseball cards. And so they made them as hard to get into as they possibly can. And then, in this case, they're kind of stuck together, so I have to break them apart. So, apologize for this this uh, video being a little bit longer than usual. I'm just gonna break them as I go because it looks like it's not destroying them. So, Alex Fernandez, there's Jim Abbott, there's Andre Dawson. He had been playing a long time by the time they'd done this card. He was probably already in his late 30s at that point, if not 40. That's back when he gone with the with the uh, Marlins, with the old Marlins logo. There's Steve Finley, John Olrud, another another great player. We've seen his uh, rookie card. Actually, he's the same rookie card as Tina Martinez. A letter later, Brian Barber rookie. There's 
There's another repeat. Well, it's already got a repeat, but this is repeat Cal Ripken Nationals, Natural. Oh, this is neat. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. card. That's a different image, and I can't tell if that's a special or something. No, that's actually just his base card. Huh. It's just interesting to see that pose, you know, almost with a with a backdrop, because I haven't seen that before. Because there is, you know, special chase cards in here. Um, there's Mike Sweeney. Jason Bear. And the last card, if I can get to it easily. Oh, wow. Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. Nat natural card. Definitely a good card. So, so far, I like these. You know, if it wasn't the fact that they were stuck together, um, I'd like them a lot more. But they were pretty cards. Or they are pretty cards. Acting like, you know, catching them on fire or something. Alright, so I save that pack because that one actually came together pretty good. Uh, Greg Cobron. Ooh, that's a nasty sound. Oh, Jeff Fry getting his grease paint put on. Cliff Floyd. Todd Zeal. Ed Sprague. Read them in case you can't see the, the print. It, it might be a little bit shiny. Oh, there's Joe Carter nat Natural. Now that one, the golds are not quite as good. But another good card. Uh, C. Curtis. I don't remember C. Curtis. That would be Chad Curtis. There's Manny Ramirez again. Looks like there's a lot of repeats. Jose Herrera. The, another AL checklist. We've seen that one before. And Ozzy Smith. And this one's backwards for some reason. Oh, this is cool. A Matt Williams, but it's one of the... Using that duflex. So this is really, really neat. So this is one of the starbursts, actually. So I'm going to put that to the side because that is actually really nice looking. I guess this is pre refractor. Corner's a little rough on it. But all in all, this is actually pretty a pretty card. And I hope you I hope that the video can show it does look really nice in person. So I'm gonna put that one to the side because that's a that's a nice card, and that would be that's what actually considered one of the chase cards. Let's see, we said what's a starburst, and a starburst occurs in one out of every six packs. So the odds were we were gonna find one of them. Should be if the odds are right, there should be six in this box. But you never know. I also thought it was quite interesting the fact that the card was turned around the way it was. So there's Andre Dawson again. Got a lot of repeats. Steve Finley again. I'm sorry I'm keep turning it, trying to pull them apart. There's John Olrod again. Definitely a lot of repeats. All letter, all letter, that is. Tom Pagnozzi, John Mabry, uh, Gubitska, I don't remember him. Oh, that's a nice one, Rafael Primero, another great player. I've seen him many times. Uh, rookie Dustin Hermanson. Another natural non starburst, but it's Juan Gonzalez. There's Apier. 
seen him before. And finally, rookie Al Ochoa. Very cool. All right, last pack. This has been a fun rip. Actually, uh, pleasantly surprised to tell you the truth. Oh man, actually, to open this pack really nice. I'm gonna save this one. Oh, I flashed a, I flashed a little bit. So we we know we're getting something okay, but we got Barry Larkin. It's a nice one. There's Jeff Bagwell, long time Astro. Brian Hunter. Mike Greenwell, long time, long time superstar for Boston. Pulled his card many times. Kurt Manwaring, Warnig, Warring. Hard when you haven't seen these names forever. It's been 25 years for these guys. There's Larry Walker. And we've pulled his rookie card multiple times. Chris Steins, rookie. Our National League checklist. That looks like Jeff Bagwell right there with his old Astros logo. There's Kenny Lofton. Oh, that's cool. This is when I need my nails. Hard to pull some of these apart. And there's Matt Lawton. That's a rookie. And then the last one, and I saw, and it's Terrell Wade Starburst card. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that one's real nice. Look at that. Wow, so there's, looks like there's two types of Starburst cards. Let me go back and look. Because, uh, Trying to see, we so the so there's Starburst, there's Artist Proof Starburst, there's Pinnacle Power, Team Tomorrow, and the and Ripken card. So I'm thinking that both of these are probably just Starbursts. Um, both of them beautiful cards, and and we're basically just doing our recap right now because we don't have any more packs and. Still trying to figure this one out. So let me look one more time at this real closely. Yeah, it just says Starburst, and it does. It's not a numbered card. So that that's yeah, yeah. I think that's your typical Starburst. And then there's the natural, the natural, not natural edition of it. And of course, it just says Starburst. So I guess they're the same set. I know it's, there was a hundred, and I haven't really looked for any of the checklists on that, but uh, I will before in the next video. And both nice cards. So, so that that was it for the first time we've ever opened 1996 Pinnacle. Uh, we've opened the six packs. Uh, you know, break this up to six videos, um, but we got two. We'll call them hits because they are definitely something different they're not textured even it's really interesting these cards uh pretty cards actually all in all these is a pretty set you know the the naturals is definitely one of the interesting chase sets of course the rookies with the red print you know i wish it was a little bit different and i will kind of break these up and look at them but go ahead you know if you got any feedback tell me what you think about these i mean you like this i mean it, it is different uh, almost like a refractor that we now look at. Actually, it may even like this a little bit better, but I'm not going to tell anybody, except all of y'all. Um, and actually, what's neat about this one, I just noticed it's the red signature. That's a rookie starburst. So that one's actually even cooler. All right, so yeah, drop any comments in the in the comment section below and if you want to see more of this because um, we do have more packs of this go ahead hit the subscribe and hit the notify because you know you'll know the next time i open uh, and put a video up i try to do this on a daily basis 
and you know i appreciate you watching and i hope you enjoyed looking at these like i said this is such a i've never looked at these before so really enjoyed it i really enjoyed my time here and i look forward to seeing you next time so until then bye now yeah these are really cool